Hello, welcome to figure form 45. Thank you for your time checking my video. This is my review of the Green Lantern Alan Scott Platinum Edition. This is included in the McParlane Collector Edition. Now, the difference between the Platinum Edition and this one is that this have the black light effect. Now, if you are new to my channel, please leave a like and subscribe if you like my video. This will really help me in making more of these videos. Now, please enjoy. the front of the box it said McParlane Collector Edition DC Multiverse Green Lantern Alan Scott Platinum Edition on the side it says Green Lantern Alan Scott Day of Vengeance this is number two on this new line that McFarlane created. At the back, you will see that this is a very familiar art if you are a DC fan, but you can see that the figure is not really based on Ross art. So I don't know why they use this one. Twenty two points of articulation. Now let's unbox this figure. Standard McPerlane stand, which I guess for the collector edition, the DC logo is in white. Now, one of the things that this collector edition has is this card stand with the DC logo. It looks good, but is it really worth the increase in the price? Is this worth the $10 difference versus the non-collector edition releases? I don't know. Me, I don't think so. Maybe you can also say that they made the letters in the card chrome, but still, I don't think that's worth the $10 difference. So this will be the standard art card and art card holder. It's even hollow at the back. of the DC Multiverse Collector's card. One energy effect. Mm. 
the lantern where they recharge their rings now some people ask uh, why do they make this on the, uh, using the clear plastic considering that this is not, not a construct but if you're like me we we'll like the black light effect I have no problem with this material because this also have a good reaction with the black light Now, I did not buy the regular version of this because I already have the Dread Lantern. But when I saw this Platinum Edition, I kind of liked it. I like the black light effect. So I bought it instead of the normal edition. Maybe the normal edition I'll just buy when it's on sale so you can see the yeah paint is there for the black light effect which i'm thinking is actually a cool gimmick for a lantern so i'll have no problem if ted will be making more green lantern figures that have black light effect i am all in on that gimmick so there's a black light effect there. Let's see on the back. I don't think there's anything on the back. So it's more like shining over here. Quick look at the figures, the scope and details. As I said, this is the same as the Dread Lantern that was initially released. It's just a better head sculpt now showing the normal Allen's cut quick articulation so head articulation so standard mcperlin 22 points of articulation now for the main reason why i bought this platinum version okay it's so far it looks good now let's do this Hmm. I love I love the I love the application they made for the parts that is black lit the test of black light effect. I mean yeah that looks really cool. As I said, look at the lantern. 
it also have a reaction to the black light. I'm thinking that's why they also made it using the clear plastic. Does this make it worth buying? Well, I guess he answered my question. Now, this is the main reason why I still bought this Platinum Edition of Alan Scott, uh, which is part of the first wave of the McFarlane Collector's Edition, which if you know, I I do think are overpriced. Now, does this game mix makes it valid for the $10 difference? Um, honestly, I don't think so, but the normal version, I'll wait for it to go to sale. But this platinum version I bought because I really think that this black light effect is very cool so i'm one of those people who like this gimmick so at least somehow it makes it a little worth it the price <laughs>